Hi, I'm Stephanie and this is my home, the 16th century Chateau de Lalande. Lalande was owned for hundreds of years by a family of marquises who were at the heart of French royal life. One of them even had the honour of being sent by King Louis XV to greet Marie Antoinette on her arrival in France. But, far from being a stuffy museum, this chateau is a living home. I live here all the time and I'm regularly joined by my mother, my family, my friends and wonderful volunteers from all over the world who help me to lovingly restore this historic home. Welcome to La Lande, a chateau filled with life, love and laughter. It is a very big day at La Lande today. A lot is going on all over the house. So we'll be running around trying to show you everything that's happening. The tree surgeon has arrived. So he's going to be clearing the trees around the chapel. Also, all three Ians are here and we're going to go and see what they're up to. And Jenny's working in the garden and Marie is up to beautiful things in her floristry studio. Hello, hello, hello. Oh. oh, look at this. I was expecting to find you all hard at work. We've been so hard that we've had to take a break. Yeah. Uh, this looks pretty lovely. Team, team me and team me too. This is the spot. Do you need biscuits? No, we're just eating our lunch thing. You sure? We got some Jaffa cake cake oh, well, bars. Maybe Jaffa cake. <laughs> They're not well, proper Jaffa cakes. They're the cake bars, which I've never tried. Shall I bring some out? Yeah. 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 Popular choice. <laughs> okay, someone sent them from England. Peter sent them. Thank you, Peter. Peter. I haven't had one for years. It's a very British moment out here now. Yeah. Jaffa cake. Just need a cup of tea. Good, yeah. Another nice cup of tea with tea, me and. Well, whilst you're having your break, I'm going to go and see what's happening on the other side because I think the tree surgeon's here. Yes. Uh, then I'll come back and find you. Do you want me to introduce? Sorry? Do you want me to introduce you? Sure, come out. A lot of signs of activity out here. <coughs> oh, and the daffodils. Have you not seen the daffodils? No, I haven't been out here for about a week and they oh, weren't right. out last week. Aren't they pretty? Aren't they lovely? Yeah. Oh, and I see someone down there. Oh, there he is. Hello. Hey. Hi, I'm so happy you're here. I'm really excited about this. <coughs> So you two already know each other? We, well, we've been on the only a couple of occasions, not uh, yeah. Not had a chance to go for a beer yet, but I'm sure we'll get there eventually. <laughs> <laughs> if they ever open the bars again. Well, really nice to meet you. So I've just missed you doing something really exciting, I see, because you just shimmied up all the way up that tree. Yeah, just get the line on it. Just keep Put that line. back and it's weights that way with the chest. It's fine. That's insane. You literally went up there? Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. So what's the plan? Uh, sell this one down there. Yeah. Go back into that corner and work the way back up that way. All right. So there's room to get the ones near the chapel down. Yeah. Back. Wow. The the difference. Is it so light all of a sudden? It's going to be really light, isn't it? It's going to open everything up. Yeah. Amazing. Massively improvement on the view of the chapel as well. You can see it just blocked from here, you can't see it really. Yeah, you can't see the back of the chapel no, at all. No, be good. Amazing, yeah. And it's safer as well. Yeah, that, that's why we're doing it, it's to keep it safe. Because of the how these now. They're so high, and then a couple of them look pretty dead, and if one knocks over another, then yeah, we're in trouble. And at the end of the day, the pines are planted as a crop. Yeah, yeah. And these are on about the life expectancy, the bigger ones on the corners, especially. Yeah. Well, I think there's also quite a lot of dead trees here. There's, yeah. there's, uh, we had a lot of storms and... Well, that way is dangerous. Really? Yes. Okay. I mean, I can walk up 100 yards with you up there and you'll see. Yeah. Oh. Problems. Problems. We don't like the word problems. Uh, which one? This one, of course. Yes, look that's at that. The one there. Going straight across the track. Yep, that's going to go. That split the middle, isn't it? Oh, yes. Yep. Split. That's the top half of that tree. That one is. So that's the top and that's the of bottom. that tree. Yeah, yeah. That's insane. Isn't it? Yes. My goodness. Yeah. Yes. So <laughs> quite a lot of clearing to be done here. It's just going to be steady getting it in. And yeah, bit by bit. Make it safe. Fantastic. Oh, it's good to see the wood start Isn't to get it? healthier. Yeah. And safe is good, most definitely, because yeah. everybody comes to sway. And the, and the beauty is, you clear some of this out and you get some nice trees in the centre. 
Yeah, and, and you'll see them. A chance to yeah. yeah, to branch out. They'll become features. Yeah. They'll get it's, much it's like we used to do in England more more than we do over here. Over here, they do tend to do corners of woodlands. Yes. Yeah. And that's why French oak was so good for the um, shipbuilding because you've got tall straight oaks because yeah. that's how the railways in England are not as tall, but you get the Width. bigger yeah. trees. Yes. Fat trees. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and nice woodland. Mm. Yeah. Yes. But I'd love this to be a beautiful woodland. Well, my father really also loved um, trees well spaced yeah. so that there was space in a wood for them to grow and I know he'd be really happy to yeah. see this this happening yeah, there's so much fallen debris isn't there? Yeah. yeah well it's good it's good we're clearing it's a good year <laughs> we can have a picnic in the woods now yes <laughs> there's a tree falling on our head I just did <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> excuse me ladies I'm going to see Marie Can I come in? Yeah. Hello. Hello. How are you? Do you have any idea how much I love walking in here? It's not too bad. It's beautiful. It's not too bad. I'm getting there. I'm, uh, yeah. I'm Everywhere still, is beautiful. I still haven't figured out everything. I probably need another shelf or so. But, okay. But that's just uh, small stuff. Really. Oh. <laughs> Don't feel all the mess. But it's it's not mess, it's lovely vases to use. And oh, what? okay, I hadn't seen the bit behind me. No, Honestly, no. the mess is pretty, but I hadn't seen this. Oh, thank you. What's going on with the single boot? I'm, I'm filming a Q&A for my YouTube. <laughs> that is absolutely ingenious. No, I mean, I'm serious, that, that. <laughs> You have no, you're a genius. Seriously. So, some people ask me, oh, Marie, you need to use a mic. I am using a mic. <laughs> <laughs> but it's clearly not close enough. So So um, now you have the boot mic. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. So that's it. <laughs> so you're working on a QA? and a Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to answer some questions, basically, and setting up, making it really look really It's nice. stunning. Yeah. And the colours, honestly, that blue... Yeah. How can that be real? I know, it's insane. I haven't figured out how to use it yet because it's such a dramatic colour. Oh, um, I love it so much. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's so pretty. Everything's so lovely. Yeah, don't you just love the blossoms? They're from the garden. Do you know, I was just out there looking at that tree. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I just... Yeah. against that wall it's just beautiful it really is i love your aesthetic and i feel that whatever's going on in the rest of the house is just like a haven of peace <laughs> and tranquility in here always yeah i hope so I'm yeah to. no this it is, is my little peace and quiet place <laughs> well i'll leave you to get on if you're going to film your video thank you good luck thank you look forward to seeing it thank you <laughs> Bye. Bye. here are the men fueled by jaffa cake by is this it We've got yeah sugar rush now there's going to be no stopping <laughs> you it's, it's, <laughs> it's a shame i've been i'm really glad for youngest ian on the grounds that <laughs> i've got to go to the optician and he's got to run up and down stairs with all these chairs oh nice you got you got the best job <laughs> oh, no, but it's yours. yeah yes <laughs> He may need a, another Jaffa cake before he goes home. Okay, <laughs> Jaffa cakes are on me. Well, no, they're on Peter Atfield who sent them. <laughs> That'll be all right, I'll have them done in two minutes. <laughs> right, we are going to need um, to get the airline out here and blow all these. Yeah, try and get the air, yeah, the dust well, off. The dust is just ridiculous. Yeah. So that's because of all the stonework, obviously, that yes. Selma's been yes. doing. That's our, uh, stone our dust stone mason. Yeah, you know, it's been great. We've got our own little resident stonemason. I love it. Correct me if I'm wrong, did, did you say a, a Jaffa cake per chair? <laughs> <laughs> nice try, youngest Ian. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <Fail. laughs> if you want to grab the, um, the press up, up uh, and I'll go up to Stephanie and just show her what we've achieved so far. Okay, great. Where are we going to put them? Is, would you like this back in your bedroom now? Oh, yeah, you the know bandage. how I need that. Yeah. <laughs> Attic is good. One day I'm sure there'll be someone here who wants to use that. I'm sure there will. Yeah. I'm sure there will. In fact, that wool that's on there now looks jolly old. Looks a little bit like amaryllis, doesn't it? it looks like something. I'm not going to say what. <laughs> okay, only two flights of stairs to the attic. Not too bad. After you, sir. Thank you very much. It doesn't mean poked in the eye with a. <laughs> Yes. 
Mm -hmm. It's very fairy tale having a spindle in the attic, isn't it? Idea, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. You can find your low stool now because I need to sit here. <laughs> so what's the plan up here? Can what's you tell everyone well, what the now, plan is? You can see we've cleared this area here. Yes. This great. Yeah. Such yeah. a difference. Of, uh, heat. Are we keeping that TV for anything important? It'll be Pete's. <laughs> I think. I think it's ready to go. This one can probably go. I would have thought so. Yeah. This was the Marquis's TV. Was it really? Yeah, the last Marquis who lived here full time. That was his TV. All oh, right. Okay. Well. Well, just... now I've said that. Now I feel we should keep it. We should keep it. But is it an heirloom? No. Not yet, Ian. No. Not yet. We need to get a picture anymore. It will be one day. <laughs> we could convert it into a cheap <laughs> cabinet or something. I'm sure you know about this. But yes, that is here. gorgeous. Absolutely yeah, it's a really stunning. nice one. Isn't it? That's going to be amazing. Yeah, and I don't know if you can see, but there's little stars. Yes. Yes. Yeah, little stars. I think that'll come up beautifully. I think so, and I'm sure those little bursts, because you see where a few are missing, but I'm sure we can get some. We can, I'm sure, yeah, and I'll make yeah. beautiful bed curtains with that. I think that's going to look absolutely brilliant. Just not too sure which room to no. use it in yet. The thing that appealed to me most, actually, it hasn't got any worm, or almost none. Yeah. Which, takes, which cuts my work down quite a lot. Well, I'm sure when Philip gets back, he will really enjoy helping make the curtains for that too, yeah, which would be yeah. great. We can make something beautiful. Yes, which, which bedroom do you think? Well, I've toyed with bedroom. the idea of Bon Maman. Okay. Uh, um, we don't have a single room now. Don't, uh, only... Um, One that's already got a four-poster. Yeah, yeah. Then, of course, there's Perth. We could have done something in there. Or maybe one of the smaller rooms, but... I'll look up whether you can use a crown that size over yeah. a double bed. I think you probably can. Or maybe if we get it, if we can, if we could get a duplicate as well, then we could put them over the twin beds in. Wasn't Which it? I think would be lovely, but I'm not sure we can get a duplicate. I'm sure there's a woodyard here who can give, who can do this for us. We, we can so. do it, but I just think the time it would take me to produce that. Is yeah. Way in excess of what. Well, maybe we should do that. That's a lovely idea to use it for hose. Yeah. It would look yeah. very pretty. Yeah. It was or, or is uh, Wizards that's this was also his twin, yeah. but I think it'll yeah. be nice to concentrate on the bedrooms in the main wing, you know, the, mm. the sort of master Absolutely. bedroom, so yes, to speak, yes. first. I think this would look lovely as a, as a pair. Yeah, I agree. Okay, let's see if we yeah. can find someone who can do that. Okay, okay so we now have a uh, space, space, almost enough space to paint net, or just a height issue. <laughs> yeah, doesn't really work, does it? <laughs> Ping pong, maybe. Yeah, I just imagine that as a bedroom one day. I do. I know that a room up there would be wonderful, but we'd have to put light in, and you can't oh. put light in on that that no, roof. No. So that blocks us. Yes, yes. But okay. this room, I mean, this is lovely and light. Oh, beautiful, is... huge space. Already has the windows, so this will be great. And you're going to be working in here later this year. Later aren't this you? year, we're going to bring this floor level up to that yep. floor level because yeah, the rooms beneath here are actually quite cold in the winter. Yes. Um, and obviously, a lot of the um, Tomette flooring has been yeah. taken up. So by uh, coming out here with about a good 300 mil high yeah. and absolutely packed full yes. with uh, Kingspan and Rockwall. Yeah, so we'll increase. insulate the main body of the chateau oh, it's by gonna, it's gonna stop the insulating this floor. It will stop the heat loss massively from down Yeah, place. that's going to be great. Um, in fact, and we do have, you know, if we are unindated, we do have a number of beds lying around here. Yeah. Uh, we do, and I'm sure they're all going to come in extremely useful. Yes, we'll turn them into flower beds, so we put them in the garden. <laughs> oh, let's let that butterfly out, oh, though. Yeah. Hang on, butterfly rescue going on over here, Ian. Right. Okay. Just, uh... I believe that this opens. Oh, might need a really strong trying. man to do that. Oh, yeah, there we go. got it, got it. There we go. Come on. Uh, 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 we go. Do you think that one's still alive? I don't think so. I think oh, poor it. little thing, that's a no. Anyway, but got when I came up earlier with yes. Ian, an owl flew straight down here and up over to the turret. That's the screech owl. That's yes. the one that goes. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's Percy. <laughs> so everyone thinks that someone's snoring. It's a screech owl. So he went up there. Yes. So he flew. Up into the top space above the turret, just there. Lovely, yes. I thought he was living up there. Yes. Just on the other side of this wall. Oh, that's lovely that you saw him. Yes, it was. It was you lucky amazing. thing. I know. But it obviously dis I assume he disappeared off outside, although, or maybe he's just hiding somewhere. Yeah. But definitely went off through those. Uh, Fantastic. 
Okay, well, yeah. gosh, there's so much happening all at once. It's overwhelming and totally wonderful. And we actually have a space we can work in to start with as well here, as opposed to having to move yeah. 200 items out. Absolutely, this is good. And then just as you did yesterday and the day before in the outside buildings, we'll, we'll sort in here as we'll well. We'll do this in a second. Send side. everything to the rubbish dump yep. that we don't need. So all of this lot will end up in there when we start on here, and then nothing comes back into here yeah. until it's been... Project Spring Cleaning yes, is going yes. super well this year. Yes, and then we can actually find out. We'll be able to breathe. We may need to order some more wigs by the look of it. We seem a bit low on the There aren't wig enough wigs. Doesn't... I mean, I don't know about you, but that's not enough wigs. No, most no, definitely. We need a wig cupboard, don't we? You say that jokingly, but I just bought a beautiful wardrobe that's just filled with shelves in my use last week to put here to get all the accessories in. So that'll be the wig Perfect. cupboard. And have you seen this chair? This is a lovely antique. This has been waiting for me to be able to afford to have it redone, which I think I could probably do now if we can find a good furniture restorer. Would actually suit a hairdresser, because when they say, can you just lean back a little bit? You could. Oh, very funny, Ian. I Don't say nasty come. things in front of the poor chair when it can hear you. Oh, sorry. It's the woodwork, I worry But this about. is a very old one. I do um, like this. This one I bought from the previous owners. It was original to the chateau. I think it's a lovely piece of furniture, though not in the best state. No, but again, actually, you know, there's not any real sign of worm, and that's yeah. always a good thing. Obviously, there's something broke out there. Yeah. That's yeah, we terrible. can have a new leather put on and new wicker. Yes, that's not going to be. Or maybe even a padded seat. Would you go back to, would you have the wicker again? I would put the wicker on and put a cushion on top, I think. Yeah, possibly so. There is a specialist, isn't there, doing this in uh, Le Chat? Oh, and I didn't know that, and yes. I've got other things to take, yes. so that that's great news. Yeah, I can show you exactly where that is. Thank you. Is. Yes, I think this is nice. This, this won't take a lot to rebuild. This won't take everything in separate pieces anyway, so easy enough. Now I'm going to pop to the vegetable garden, see how things are going in there. It's all looking good. Let's have a catch up with Jenny and also see the seedlings. There's still really good eating in here. I mean, this chard is brilliant. Beautiful, isn't it? Just Sorry. beautiful. It's it is just... beautiful. And you can get it in many more colours. You can get oh. it in pink, orange, white, yellow. That would be pretty. Yeah, we definitely. I'd like to get some of those. I don't think we've got any seeds for those. The good news is, I've got to say, we have got seed for the snake plant, the trombocino oh, squash. So we can definitely have <laughs> la lande snakes good, <laughs> growing good. this year. But the beetroot, there's a great recipe that River Cottage, um, Hugh Foley Whistle does for um, beetroot, uh, beetroot Beetroot tartare. Beetroot tartare, that sounds good. Yeah, it's really nice. It's really, and you do it like in a pan and we can just, you just put pastry, cook the beetroots and kind of um, glaze them a bit, mm -hmm. caramelise them a bit and then put pastry over the top like you would do with a, a ta an apple tartare. Yeah. Ta and then flip it and put a, a nice sauce over it and a bit of thyme. And these are, these would be great for that. So we could oh, harvest these. that sounds these good. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Let's eat them. And sow some more. Okay. It's good <laughs> to see everything being used. And I'm looking forward to seeing what you do with it. Oh, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what these are. These sort of small onions. Small that onions. Were harvested. Yes. So these can be used. In they the can be used as well. well. Absolutely. Wow, there's no more up there as well. Yeah, and there's a lot of snowball. parsley as well. Some lettuce. Yes. Snowball. Yes. Yes. Yeah, um, Philip did use parsley the other night. We harvested mm. some of that for him. But yeah, and the lettuce. We can make salads. There's really no need to go to the shop, especially with the hens laying mm. eggs, blue eggs. I know, right? It's a miracle. <gasps> it is a miracle. I'm so jealous. And those new hens are so cute. They're gorgeous. They really yeah, are. I'm going to go and visit them later today. Yes. I haven't oh, seen them for dude, ages. so cute. Look, Jenny has added so many flowers and vegetables to my seedlings. But, okay, the bit for me that's the most exciting is that we discovered this week that all of my sweet peas are coming up. So exciting. I think mummy's pretty proud and also having to eat her words because she told me they weren't going to. And even this tiny little seedlings there, that's all the celery that I planted. And there's more sweet peas. And the only thing I planted that hasn't come up at all yet is the eryngium. No sign of that yet, but we don't give up hope. I've come to my room to my desk because I'm going to be ordering the plants for the arches in the vegetable garden. And that's after having a long conversation with Davy about it. I recorded some of that for you to hear now. Yeah, I still like the idea of some sort of fruits growing on there too. Something that links 
with the concept of the vegetable garden? Well, the easiest one to, uh, that, that comes into my mind that's, that can be trained to a structure like that um, is raspberries. Oh, how lovely. A, a higher type of fruit tree, but you already have quite a lot of them. Yeah, we love raspberries. You, you could have a, um, a thornless bramble. Oh, that would be lovely. Those exist as well. And would they go that high? They, they go much higher than the raspberries, yeah. A thornless bramble can, can make shoots in one year that are three meters in length or more. So that would be... So it'll be the, thornless... The, the, the case in point for those types of plants is that you have to keep on top of pruning them because otherwise they'll overgrow you. I think that sounds beautiful. A thornless bramble covered in clematis. Yeah. And that sure. would give us blackberries, which Philip's been asking uh, for. <laughs> so I can go uh, ahead and order... Thornless, brambles, and uh, yeah. clematis. Uh, and maybe because you mentioned the, the clematis armandii, the, the, the evergreen one. Yes, um, but that's the one you think would be nice for the courtyard. Yeah, true. Would that work with the brambles or would it choke the brambles or vice versa? Yeah, no, that's true. With, uh, on an arch where you have the clematis armandii, you wouldn't be able to use it, the, the brambles. So you'd have to alternate them or, or you can you can play with that relatively easily uh, and the brambles they lose their leaves in winter don't they yeah but they have much more uh, they have much thicker stems so what you see in winter is still much more evident or present than the little twigs that a, a clematis has i think maybe we go for the brambles with the uh non-evergreen clematis mm -hmm. and then use the armandii as you'd said in the courtyard, so that they can all be the same, so that all the arches can be the same. Oh yeah, okay. And then all, and only did you want to use all the same colors, or are you gonna are you going to alternate them between arches? I think I like the idea of uh, two colors, but both colors being on all the arches. Yeah. So maybe alternate the way they're planted. Um, left and right. Left yeah. and right. Yeah. Same so same we thing. crisscross down the arches. Good. Yeah. Great. We're yeah. dreaming the yeah. same dream. That sounds great. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye. That's a really great conversation because, okay, it started off with the really important things that we have to deal with, the drainage and how that's going to work. But at least I got the really fun part in as well, because what I'm most interested in uh, is the aesthetics. And so it was really lovely to be able to start planning exactly what plants we're going to be having on the garden arches in the vegetable garden. So this is what I finally chosen and ordered. 32 of these giant thornless blackberry triple crown, which is apparently going to give us fruits from the beginning of July to the beginning of October. That's quite exciting. I haven't ordered the clematis yet, so I'm still working on that. Hello. Oh, hi! <laughs> Marie. It's my favourite colour. It's spring. I thought you might want a little yellow in your life today. You are so, so <laughs> lovely. <laughs> well, I got these beautiful daffodils and... Are they from the garden? Actually not. Um, they're from my shop. <laughs> there's quite a few at the moment I saw over by the woods. Yeah, so you can yeah. take some from there as well. Thank you. And we got some uh, hair tail or bunny tail. Here. Bunny tail? Yeah. <laughs> And Lovely. then some dried mimosa and blossoms mimosa from love. the garden. So the blossoms are from the garden. Yes. <laughs> so I've thought I can... love it so much. Thank it, you. You're so talented. It is beautiful. Oh, I thought it might just, you know, refresh up your room a bit. Oh, it just makes me feel as though spring is here. Good. I love it. The spring is here. <laughs> Yeah, it does feel that way. Yeah. I guess technically it is, is it? Has yes, it, it is. Yet? Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the blossoms are here. The daffodils are out. That's and... true. That's a sign. Yeah. The daffodils are here. It's spring. And my nose is runny, so... It's spring. Yeah. That's it. It's done. <laughs> Hay fever started. Yeah. <laughs> what are you up to now? I'm going to edit a video. Oh, me too. Snap. <laughs> yes. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I think the tree surgeon's finished his lunch because I can hear chainsawing. Let's go and see what's happening out there. I think I just heard a crash. I think a tree has just come down. Where is he? I don't want to walk into the trees in case I'm in his path. Oh, there he is. Right, I guess I'm safe if I'm standing right next to the chapel, as I've, presumably he has not planned 
opera to fall onto the chapel. I'm going to stay over here. Wow. Oh, that was a huge tree. Wow, that was vast. I was watching from over here. That's the, probably the safest spot here. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing, but such a huge tree. That's a good weight for it. Yeah. How, how tall do you think it is? Yeah, they push it 30 meters. 30 meters. I love this clearing. It's looking really good. Sure it is. There's so much more light in that end. Yeah, and the light is wonderful. The other trees that are left are going to be so happy to yeah. get that light. Yeah, especially going down that way. Yeah. Things are all climbing because they're leaning over the chapel. How are you going to get those down? In pieces. Okay. There's only a way to do it safely. So you're going to actually go up and chainsaw up there? Yeah. Wow. Over the next couple of days. Like when your son's here? Yeah. Yeah, because you don't want to do that when you're by yourself, that would... I do, but it'd be easier with him getting stuck So much safer with another person. Yeah. yeah. How long have you been a tree surgeon for? I started when I was um, 16. I went to National Trust. Yeah. I come apart with the forestry. Yeah. I was there for a year and I got poached by a tree surgeon in Mansfield. Yeah. It was also a college lecturer. So it was very handy. Wow. So you've been doing it your whole life? Best part on and off for 30 years now, yeah. Amazing. Well, I'm glad we've got an expert on it. Contractors of the Forest Commission. Hope our forest isn't proving too challenging. Yeah, I've been in worse. Good. I'll take that as a positive. <laughs> He's been in worse woods. Well, that saved us. Right, it? It right. Pretty atrocious. <laughs> <laughs> Just think how beautiful these are going to look afterwards. It's going to look amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I'll get that. Oh, thanks, Dad. It's closed. It's a... Oh, you managed to get the dust off them. Yeah. <laughs> what a difference. They look so much better. Yeah. Sparkly. There you see. <laughs> Ian said they'd have half the weight once all that dust had come off. That's why he's gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a day it's been. I can still hear the sound of the chainsaw outside. It is so exciting and I can't wait to give you updates of how everything is going next week because it's just wonderful at the land at the moment. I think the only thing left to do now is have a cup of tea and a biscuit. A huge thank you to all of our patrons at Lalande who are making this vlog possible, especially our Dauphin and Dauphine of Lalande, Yadel and Ether, Brandon and John, Michael, Dan Bander, Lauren Barnes, Cecilia Begum, Denise Behrens, Jill Bidwell, Candice Blackburn, Candice and Ed Borkowski, Clara Butcher, Paulina Calabro, Chloe Chalacani, Stephen, Sarah Cole, Zoe Dort, Sakura Dennis, Zane Dixon, Jackie Ellison, Nicholas W. Fairfax, Tracy Ferrari, Caroline First, Abigail Grant, Fifi Greenberg, Crystal Hardy, Brenda Harris, Delane Holbrook, Kim Hasselhoff, David and Tong Henderson, Jacqueline Holmes, Priscilla Hubler, Jimmy Kemp, Nadia Kennedy, Lisa LaForge, Dave and Summer Lalande, Morgan Lawley, Victoria Lapine, Janet Huff Lombard, Marina, Frank Martin, Meredith, Robert Miller, Kathy Norrie, JC Award, Maureen Palmer, Teresa Sloan, Frank Poposki and James Snow, Tamara Price, Armin Rahman, Tonya Renee, RJB, Bettina Rojek, Hanny Ross, Mary Ryan, Elizabeth Scanlon, Sven Schreiber, Lisa Schultz, Jennifer Shanks, Patty Suhu, Susan Stevens, Anne The Leaf House, Sarah Thornton, Colleen Troyer, Renee Vallely, Victoria, Jessica Walker, Brandy Walton, Laura Watkins, Lucas Wallen, James Whalen, Cheryl Whitaker, Christine Wilson, Winnie De La Cockapoo, Greg Wood, David Young, Ludovico Zordonazzo. And thank you to all of you.